I know the best ways to take them off, disassemble, rebuild, and powder coat, but we're not rich over here. I think this is actually just gonna be the last coat now. Already looking so much better. And we're just gonna let that sit. All right guys, this is how it looks on the car. What's up guys, we're back for another video. Today is a sad day. It's gonna be the last time you guys see these wheels on the Subi. They are being sold today. So we are going to be letting them go now. On to newer things. I have the BBs over here that we'll be using for now, but on top of selling the wheels in this video, we're also going to be painting the calipers. I bought paint a couple months ago, but it was winter and I waited. And it's finally starting to get hot again. So now that it's summertime, pretty much, we're gonna be painting the calipers now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the car out and we're gonna reverse it in and get the car on jacks and sell the wheels later. It's sad to see the wheels go. I really like these wheels. They thought they really fitted the theme of the car. I honestly just, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard letting them go, honestly. They're really nice wheels. I love the look of it. Who knows, maybe one day we'll get them again in the future. But for now, it's that time, guys. So let's go ahead and take off the wheels. All right, fellas, we got it all on jacks now. Now, time to take off the wheels. It's been nice rims, it's been nice. All right fellas, we got all the wheels dismounted, ready to be sold. It's a sad day, I really love the color. I've always thought they were so different, but like I said. Sometimes you gotta let go to move on. Alright guys, we're back the next day to try to paint the brake calipers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean them. We're going to give them a good scrub, make sure they're wiped down as clean as possible. Then we got the supplies right here. This is what we're going to be using. So we're just going to be doing a deep clean on them. We're going to go over them with a thousand grit, something light, 
not gonna go too harsh on it we're gonna use the trash bags to cover up the spaces in there so we don't get paint all over the wheel well and all the other stuff and then we got high temp primer we got the cherry blossom from grim speed and then we got the high temp gloss clear <laughs> all right guys so we got it as clean as possible i sanded it down looking pretty clean now so now we're just gonna go ahead and put primer over this yes i know this isn't the best way to paint calipers i know the best way is to take them off disassemble rebuild and powder coat but we're not rich over here so we're doing it the broke way all right guys so this is how we have it taped off i got the towel down there and we got it all taped off with trash bags the ghetto way the only way so yeah we're gonna go ahead and spray some primer over this so we're gonna start with the light coat guys So we're just gonna start, we're gonna just do some light coats like this, and then we're just gonna let it dry for a little bit. Alright guys, so we're on our third coat now. It's gonna go a little heavier, but still not too heavy. I'm trying to get more coverage over it. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray for the third time. Alright guys, so we got this side cleaned up, sanded it down. We hit it with the light coat to get the primer. To stick on there so you're gonna want to start light and keep, bu keep building up the primer coats so that's our first coat and then we're gonna go over to the other side now and I believe this is gonna be our last and final coat <laughs> if everything checks out for me right now looking at it so for the most part it's looking good I think this is actually just going to be the last coat now. Yeah, that's going to be the last coat, guys. Alright, guys, so this is about, I think, the fourth coat. I'm going to get on here, and then we're going to go to the other side and start the, the paint process. Alright, guys, so we're going to start off with light coat of the paint oh, all right all right guys so this is I think the third coat Alright guys, so we're going to start on this side, again we're going to just start with the light coat. Alright guys, this is going to be our third coat, we're going to go a little heavier now. So nice of your coat and if you guys want to check out the other side we also did like i think this is the fifth layer it's coming out pretty nice i think so pretty smooth no really dripping you can get up close no really drips we're taking our time with it letting good drying cycles in between sprays we're gonna let this one dry we just did it with a pretty thick coat thick coat earlier so we're gonna let it dry a little longer and we're gonna hit it again with the now we're just kind of evening it out but for the most part this side is pretty much done all right guys so it's gonna be one of our we're getting closer to being done with this caliper the other side is pretty much done now we'll go and show you guys we just 
sprayed an even coat, but we're gonna do some more progress with this one. A little thicker coat. You guys want to see the back? Same setup, got the towel on the floor. Doing primer. We're getting closer to the thicker coats now. And right now we're in the process of setting up that last corner and cleaning it up. All right guys, now we're gonna start painting the back calipers. Again, we're gonna start off with the skin coat. All right guys, I just wanted to give you an update on the car. The front caliper is done for today. I'm gonna let the, cure, the paint cure overnight. We got this side, we're starting up on the paint now. Getting towards the thicker coats now. And then we come back to this side. We got it all primered up now. This one's gonna start paint now. Just letting it dry, just hit it with the last coat. And then this side as well, all done. Just gonna let it cure overnight, and then tomorrow we're gonna come back in the morning, do some clear coats, and then we should be good. All right guys, here we are the next morning. We're gonna go ahead and start spraying the clear coat, but if you wanna check them out, this is how they came out. I think pretty nice. Better lighting up front. Now they definitely just need that clear coat. And we also got Brembo, sticker, Brembo stickers ordered also. So we'll be slapping those on after the clear coat. Alright guys, this is the final product. I'm going to go ahead and slap on the Brembo stickers now. Put about four coats of clear coat. I'm not going to add too many. So we're going to go ahead and put the stickers now. Alright guys, I got the stickers ready. This seems all dry and good to me. Let's see how it comes out. The stickers always make the break. Because without the sticker, it's just a break. So we're going to go ahead and put the Brembo sticker because they are Brembo's. Much better. Already looking so much better. And we're just gonna let that sit on the brake. Really nice, I like that a lot. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and slap this one on now. This is how it came out guys. I'm gonna have to repaint the fronts. I put the stickers wrong, but yeah, we'll get some sunlight shots, but here's how it looks in the garage. You guys ready for the reveal? It looks so good to me. That's just a sneak peek, but look at this. That looks so good. What do you guys think? Alright guys, this is how it looks on the car. What are your guys' thoughts? Got the music playing, sorry. And I got the fans on. What do you guys think? 
How does it look to you guys? Personally, I'm a big fan. But yeah, guys. I really like it. I like it a lot.